and welcome to another episode of Open House Crashers. I am Dustin Cameron with TaylorMade Realty Group out of Keller Williams, Coastal Bend here in Corpus Christi, Texas. And behind me, we are at 3758 Cabernet Drive, and the sun is directly in my eyes, so I'm squinting really bad. <laughs> Look at all them crow's feet. Ah, so, like I said, we're on another episode of Open House Crashers. We're gonna go inside, check out what this home has. Uh, this home right now, it's uh, it's listed with Cindy uh, Alvarado. She's a Keller Williams agent. Uh, the, the home is a new build uh, by Rick Mastagasi. It's uh, listed, I believe, at five ninety nine, right under six hundred thousand. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, right over thirty three hundred square. All right, so I finally got everybody turned around here. All right, so let's take a look at the outside here. Beautiful blue. White trim home, three car garage. Ah, so amazing. Sits on a very large lot here. We're kind of out here in the country a little bit of Robstown. It's right on the edge of uh, Cal Island here. So. Oh. And there's Cindy. Come on in. All right. Thank you, Cindy, for opening this up for us. Yes. Oh my gosh. 3347 square foot house. 33? 47? Uh, right over 3300 square feet of beautiful living five, space. Five bedroom house. Five bedroom. How many bathrooms? Three and a half. Three and a half. All right. Two, I got two that right. The bathrooms are with the bathroom, the master's up there, and uh, Jack and Jill, two bedrooms. Oh, Jack and Jill. Awesome. So it's room on this side. Um, How's the open house today? Oh, well, it was very active, very active. Until right now, because the Super Bowl is about to start. <laughs> it was very active. Yeah, the, they just left. Some of them just left. Um, but I usually have a lot towards the end of the open house. Do you? Oh man, yeah. mine always die off. Like the last like forty five minutes, nobody shows up. No. Here they come. With a couple <laughs> and another couple, but uh, uh -huh. I oh, did, good. Yeah, I am. Uh, I do have a lot of interest buyers, and also there were some neighbors that like to come and see. Yeah, of so, course, the neighbors. Yeah. It's a very beautiful. It's a Rick Masagasi build, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. And he uh, he builds to to have the, the houses last. Like, yeah, he does. He does. I, I always like Rick's homes, man. Yes. They, they're always uh, nice. All those little uh, important stuff, the cabinets or wood, and those are going to last Ooh. the life of the house. That's good. The ceramic tile flooring throughout the house. And, uh, yeah, and I noticed that he actually chose like the the shorter, see if you can see that, instead yeah. of having like a, the long, ones, the long 24 the long inch, planks. yeah, these are only 18 inch, it looks like planks. Yeah. So it looks like six by 18. So I like Very that. Very nice. And uh, he always uh, has the in colors, the, the now colors. Uh, yeah, I guess the whites and the grays. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's all, actually, these are browns in here. He incorporated the browns with this one, yeah. which is uh, very different of today's time, which we're getting into a lot of the grays and whites and mm -hmm. even some blacks. So to incorporate browns is a different uh, stroke for this time frame, but see, I love the different levels of the ceiling here. That's beautiful. Man, this kitchen is amazing. I, I love the way it looks. That it would be. So, uh, all right, I got your electric stove here, or oven top, I should say. Farmhouse kitchen sink. And since we're kind of out in the country anyways, this is just a great view from your kitchen of your living room. It is, there is a lot of good sunlight in here. And then you have your microwave and double oven. Oh. Generous size pantry. Oh. And this is very open. I like the way it feels in here. All right, so we're gonna go this route. We're gonna go take it back around this way. This looks like it comes from the garage. So you'll have your mudroom. 
That flows right next to your washer and dryer. And then of course, like I said, you'll have your garage right there. It's a three car garage. Ooh. All right, so I'll take you down the hall here. You'll have your half bath right here out of the three and a half. <laughs> and you'll have your first bedroom right off of this. This will be your Jack and Jill. So you got some built-ins in here in your closet, which is pretty nice. Usually you don't see that too often in uh, uh, what I say, uh, non-master bedrooms. Chirping. Smoking smoke detectors are chirping. So this is the other bedroom to the Jack and Jill. So this actually goes right back into the other bedroom that we're just in. So there's your commode there. You got your shower, all tiled, vertical tile with Round stone in the center. I really like that. It's good. Good finishes. And then this is a lot of counter space for Jack and Jill too. I like this color that they used. It's very nice. Like a putrid almost. And that's a good size closet. Got some built-in shelves there. Back y'all on out. So we had two bedrooms there with one full bathroom and a half bath that are coming through. So now then on the other side of the house, this will be right as you walk in these beautiful double doors here and notice the large glass that's up there at the top. To, yeah, it allows so much light into the into the home. Like, like it's a lot of light. All right, so this is right when you come in. You have this one right at the front of the house. You see there. Another good sized closet with built ins as well. A very large room for an extra bedroom. We'll swing on out there. Oh, another full bath. See, we saw as the last one. And then, oh, I just hit my elbow on the wall. And this one has a double closet in it. A bit of a smaller room, but two closets with it. And it actually looks like a, this is a larger door now? No, these are, man, they just, he builds them with, Larger door frame. So these are not your normal size doorways. Uh, I believe these look like uh, third. Like they're I think they're like thirty-two inch doors because I, I I think uh, ADA. I think it's uh, thirty-six inches. I believe. Oh, I see. Well, yeah. So those are those are bigger than normal. You are yes. correct. Yes. Yeah, then in the back part of the house, you come through your living room, and then you make a right. And you have your master. Ooh, we have it staged nicely. Okay, I'm gonna walk you to the far side. Good size master, double doors coming into your bathroom. Ah, I like how this is set up. Because you have the his and hers, but they're on opposite sides of each other. That is nice. It's something that you normally don't see these days. This is a lot of space in here. Then, of course, your jacuzzi tub here. Oh, let's check out this one. Okay, shower. Nice. Continue the round stones into the shower. 
Then you have, oh, that's gonna be your commode room. Then you'll have two closets, some more built-ins, very large built-in there. Oh, in there, yes, yes, yes. All right. Doors, man. So it's not just one, you will actually get two. Oh, this is the guys, figured it out. <laughs> this is the, will be the uh, closet for the guys, it's a lot smaller. Oh, sorry guys, don't give very much room. And once again, just the openness of this kitchen and living room. It is amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then of course your formal dining where we started the tour at. I love the lighting on that. That's it. Oh. This is a very spacious uh, dining room. It's uh, a it is. oversized. It is, it is a lot oversized. I would say that this is probably easily 400 square feet of just dining room space. Oh my gosh, this is a plenty of room for <laughs> Which is all like, the dining room set that anybody can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 of those, so that's 180 by, let's see here. Let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, that's 27 times six, so that's a, uh, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, pretty close. I'm gonna say anywhere from 350 to 400 square feet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is it's beautiful, space. beautiful, beautiful. Even the foyers are a little oversized as well. It is. So if you, if you don't see how big this archway is coming in, so I will, uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen times fifteen. Let's go fifteen on that times six. That is thirty. That is ninety. 90 inches, do some math, guys. 3758 Cabernet, um, and it's on MLS. Uh, Rick always puts a floor plan for all his listings. So that he does. They'll be ready for any realtor to go ahead and send out to their clients. And uh, whenever he has staged homes it would be nice to go and show them that that ready yeah. the, the homes that are ready that way they have an idea of what the what it can look home. like yeah yes yeah yeah, yeah. I, I love that he does stages homes mm -hmm. because uh and this is a home that needs to be staged and they did a very good job doing it so yes. definitely so like that takes a picture there's no there's no flip back over oh, yeah. don't buy cheap phones people if you break one, go buy another good one. Don't do what I did. Uh, ah, so this is Cabernet 35, 30, 30, 37, 37, 58. 58 Cabernet Drive here in Robstown. Yeah. Five bedroom, three and a half bath, right over 3,300 square feet. New build, amazing finishes, lots of open space, great floor plan. So that was our adventure today on uh, Open House Crashers. And go in there, watch some of the other videos that we have up there. Go in there, like, subscribe, Taylor Made Realty Group on YouTube, and leave some comments. Let us know how we're doing. All right, if there's something else that you do want to see, if you are looking to buy in the Corpus Christi area, go in there, let us know that, like, hey, I want to look at this house. I'll go buy it. I'll see if I can do an open house tour for you, and then maybe we can talk about it. All right, until then, I'll see you all next time.